Hi guys, welcome to this short video tutorial how about um, yeah what, what you can do when it's not printing from Google Chrome. Google Chrome can be a little bit stubborn when it comes to printing. It doesn't use exactly the same features or drivers as the Windows. So this is of course uh, yeah something only for Windows and no other operating system. I'm using Windows 10 as probably the most other people. So what happened? I had this Canon MX922 and yeah it was really good. I'm was really happy it's really reliable it's a good printer so far especially for the price but what happened i was using cheap printing cartridges and it leaked and then the printer head was um, yeah dead and so new printer head cost more than replacing the old printer so i bought a new printer um first so I uh, just connected it and I was expecting that everything will work again, but it didn't for some strange reason. I have different, uh, several computers and some of them worked right away. So no need to install new drivers or something like that. But with one PC like mine, I haven't been able to print from Windows and I have been installing a new driver for this uh, computer. It was a new one available so I installed it and printing from Windows was fine then. I didn't have any problems but printing from Google Chrome was not possible so I was able to select the printer when I clicked like here control P you come to this um, site where you can um, yeah you can select printer here and so on and that was possible so I clicked on print then uh, but it doesn't didn't print like 10 minutes la uh, 10 seconds later or 20 seconds later it came up with a message uh, error with printing and then I was able to um, look at the printer queue and I uh, know it's not here but uh, yeah just simply a printer queue I was able to the other in the menu it was a, a button for clicking on printer queue and there was an error and I whatever I did there uh, I was not able to solve this issue so really no uh no no clue uh, no yeah whatever i did it didn't help uh i deleted the document and did it several times and i had this problem also with other computers not only with computers where i have set up a new um, driver also computers we, which had the same driver and yet also from the uh, from windows itself it was no problem to print but from google, google chrome was a really uh, a big problem there was no way to print this this is really really a bad thing and i already had this such similar issues but not while replacing same printer with a new one from same printer and what i found out here we have a, a canon menu so if you have a canon there you can install this um how is it called canon quick menu maybe hp or, or, or other supply or providers i mean other manufacturers have a similar thing so here you have for the canon you have the network settings and so I was able to find out that there are different printers here so you see port name I mean or different drivers they are using two different port names this is the old one from the old 
printer. I mean, it's the same printer actually. I mean, same printer type, but old printer, the, the one I have disposed. And this is from the new one. And this is connected. That's a problem. Okay. So this is the thing which helped me a little bit because, yeah, Google Chrome, as I said, is a little bit difficult. There's not much help with Google Chrome. Uh, here we have the, uh, there are actually two pages uh, which can help a little bit. So the google.com cloud printer printers, if you go to this website, it will list all your printers or all your cloud printers. That helps a little bit. I will post, uh, put the URL in the description below so you can just click on that. That helps a little bit, but not so much. I mean, you can see what kind of printers you have attached, but you can't do anything with, with, with this. That, that's a little bit of a problem. And the other page which you have as well is this one is Chrome and uh, double point slash slash devices. And usually when you have printer pro problems, that's the easier thing. You go here, you click on disconnect printers and then it loads every all available printers again. And you can, yeah, here you can, you can't do anything. You can click on manage but it uh, does nothing so actually sometimes it does something sometimes not it's a little bit difficult so what you usually do you go to classic printers and then add printers you come to a next page where you can select all the printers which you want add all available printers and i have tried only to add the old printers or printer drivers or whatever and tried and didn't work and I've also tried with new printer or printer drivers and it didn't work. So here there was really nothing which I was able to do. So usually this helps when you add your printers and then you can go to manage your printers. And so then you're actually on your cloud printers. And sometimes you see all of them. Sometimes it's a little bit strange. Sometimes you can't see all the printers like the MX. 922 I can't see at the moment here but it's still still working I can really print from here there is absolutely no problem even when I can't see it here I can't print uh, I, 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 can, I can print even when I can't see it so actually there are two solutions to solve this so what you can do you can use the windows driver or the windows printing uh, facility if you pr uh, press ctrl p then you come to your standard print menu where you can pr uh, select printers but you also have this thing here which says print using system dialog when you click on that you come to the original windows printing um, options and you can print from here and even when the chrome printing function does not work it will print then uh, through the windows printing utility that's the one thing and the other thing is when you go when you click the windows button and then you type print then you have the options option for printers and scanners and then you see all the installed printers and scanners and i had i have removed already a few of them but this was actually the solution i had a lot of duplicates i had like the mx920 series fax and then a fax with copy one and a fax with copy two and, 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 and a lot here. You see still there's an XPS or uh, XPS uh, printer with copy one and XPS printer with copy two. So the question is which one to remove. And here helps the 
the, the, the um, Canon utility helps a little bit with that so you can see the here there's this one is not found that's uh, like offline so it's the old one and it says it's the XPS copy one so I have to delete the copy XPS copy one so here you can click on remove device so you can re remove all the devices which are actually from the old installation or for the old from the old printer or which you which you see offline here if you have the Canon uh, if you have a Canon or if you have another thing from HP which does the similar thing and hopefully it will tell you which one is available and which one is not found so maybe hopefully when I remove that it won't show this offline printer anymore let's see I think this network utility is actually working but sometimes it has some problems I put it here now it says even no driver maybe when I close it and open again then it doesn't show this anymore at all so anyway so you have basically two options one option is to use the window printing option or the other one, other thing is to remove the extra printer uh, driver or connector or port or whatever it is in the windows settings thing and what i also did of course i rebooted google chrome and at the end now i'm again able to print so um, yeah everything is fine i don't know why it's so complicated with google chrome for printing so i have really a series of videos now uh, about printing problems especially from google chrome not only from google chrome but also from windows itself and if this video here doesn't solve the problem maybe another problem another video of my series uh, solves the problem hopefully so yeah hopefully i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about if uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time